Okay, we're back. Sorry, I was just uh, changing a few things. If we go to full screen, there we go. That should be good. Alright, let's continue on with Alex and... Fuck, I can't remember their names. Who's the third person? Who's behind you guys? Sledgehammer? Oh, shit. That dude's fucking crazy. Oh, this is where she goes underwater. Oh. Oh, no. We better, like, go quick, actually. Oh, God. The ring. Take it. No, take it. What the fuck? Why don't you take it? Why are there two? What is going on? Oh yeah, yeah. What's her name again? Julia, Julia, that's it. Come on. The knife. Could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That that guy. Oh. Fuck. Getting out of the water, something that looked like Alex grabbed the knife and chased Alex and Julia. Oh, okay. Come on! Yeah, come on, run. Let's go. Don't fall, run. Jesus Christ. Maybe we shouldn't have brought the knife. <laughs> oh shit, I murdered him? I killed Brad. Oh shit. Wait, can I... I, I want to rewind to like that part of the episode. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I was just... uh. Oh, now you can hear me. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He looked like he died in, like, that cargo area. But I'm so confused. I don't understand. I really don't get it. Damn, I'm sorry, Brad. I let you down. Like, literally the one good guy in the team is, like, the one that dies first. Me 
Come on. You got this. Keep going. Courageous. Am I courageous or am I scared? Oh, hell yeah. Good hit. Oh my god, oh my god. Maybe he's gone? Alex and Julie were able to escape from the thing that looked like Alex. Cool. Damn, I can't believe Brad's oh, fucking God. dead. Yeah, it's me. Come on, let's go. Spot us here. That's fucking good. We like stay together now. <laughs> Jeez, I can't believe Brad's fucking dead. Oh, hello. yeah, you're gonna shit on me for killing Brad. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? <sighs> now you're one down. I know. And has anyone seen Brad? Have you figured out what's going on? Wait, what? Hold on. Interesting. Um, Brad found this this banner above the cargo hold. Ghost found the knife in the cargo hold. Brad found the spanner above the cargo hold. I think Fliss murdered Brad. I think she. Both of them were going crazy. They're seeing things that they can't actually, like, that aren't actually there. I think it makes the most sense that Fliss murdered Brad. Um. <gasps> he had the fucking little staff. The little staff was the spanner, the little wrench. Oh shit, he totally, she totally murdered Brad. Yeah, he's saying you're one down, has anyone seen Brad? But I don't know why he would, he would say that if we know that Brad's dead, you know what I mean? Or unless she's saying who has seen Brad, not just like, has anyone seen Brad? It's like, who has seen him? And that would be Fliss. Fliss saw him. Fliss is the killer. That's, it's literally, it has to be that. How to stop it. How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways. You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. We have to be very careful Quite with how we fight. That night. 
Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Fighting is not always the answer. Yeah. Tell me. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, really? you know? Less supernatural. Really? Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite Queen two five two three. I don't understand. It's what they appear to be. Oh shit. King, 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 jack, queen. More scientific. I was not expecting him to say that, to be honest with you. I thought this was very supernatural. Um. Maybe there's, like, some type of gas leak? I don't know. I mean, how could there really be a gas leak at this point? But I, I don't know. There has to be I a reason for helps. why we're starting to go crazy. Especially well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on. Oh, back to it. I don't care soon. about anyone else. I just wanted Brad to live. Brad was the only good person. Like, Fliss is, like, probably the next best person. But, like, the couple. God, they suck. <laughs> Did you happen to see Brad down there? My, uh... Brotherly instincts are going pretty crazy right now. No, you did. There was some kind of fucked up ceremony going on down there. Someone saw me. This one prick in a room, he attacked me. Wait, what? Who attacked you? Some asshole in a robe. Ah, I, I don't know. Well, if there's one thing Brad is good at, it's voiding confrontations. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? okay. The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. What do you mean, what are you talking about? Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Okay. <laughs> Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and no, holy shit, we're so totally fucked. Yeah, she's just panicking. Let's just have her panic. I was gonna say the same thing. Well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. What do you think actually happened to this place? No idea. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. Did you see the gold? Anything? If there was gold here, we would have seen it by now. Okay. That still doesn't explain anything. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? You can smell death everywhere. It's like a tomb. So where did all the corpses come from? Apparently, getting scared to death is an actual thing. Yeah, it's... Because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it, 
That's great, but do you think it still yeah, works? Yeah, this is from 1947. Just came way up there. Come, come on. Come the fuck on. We see that this is like a fucking old at like a junker. 3:43 a.m. Shit, it is. Time is flying here. We got to get off this damn ship. Yeah. Hello? What's this? I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guys. A shell casing found near a gun on the ship. The gun has been fired. The gunners on the ship attacked the sea, fair, the sea air rescue plane. Oh shit. Wow. Means I took down the plane from our dive. Yeah, most likely. Now, did they shoot them because they didn't want, uh, they were just crazy? Or did they just not want to be saved? Did they not want whatever is on the ship to get off the ship? I mean, most likely they were crazy, but I think the latter would be very interesting. I kind of like stories, oh, sorry. I kind of like stories like that, you know? Can't we just take this little fucking boat? Uh, Great. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheese. Oh, God damn it. To be fair, I don't think I could have gotten pretty far on one of those things. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Oh, what do we have over here? Oh, damn. Gas mask instructions. See, now it's starting to look more and more like this is the case, that there's some chemical that's making everyone crazy. Always ensure your mask is fitted before assisting anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas or hear the gas alarm, do not panic, remain calm, and clearly shout gas, gas, gas to warn it. anyone in the vicinity. Hold your breath. Attach the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder sling over your right shoulder and hook it into the bag. Hook the belt around your waist. Remove your helmet. Pull the mask up to your face with both hands. Put your chin inside the mask first, then pull the mask over your face and the harness straps. Remove any potential. Oh, shit, hold up. Uh, remove any potentially. Blah, blah, blah. Check for leaks. If the mask does not crumple, there may be a, a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure it is snug, then repeat the process above until the mask crumples to ensure there are no leaks. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. We didn't even check the back. What if there is a secret? Yes! Huh. Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. A memo instructing someone to issue gas masks to any soldiers working on chemicals. A gas leak. So I was right. Yeah, see, I don't like when it does that. Do you see what I mean? Like, I can't press the button and read the thing. It's either I read the thing. Um. Okay. Yeah, I don't really care, actually. It's just a gas, like, instructions to using a gas mask. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, so we're starting to feel more confident with the gas gas leak theory even though like i said it and i was like oh that's probably not it <laughs> but i mean that's the only scientific i i guess i won't comfort her hey look at that I can have someone go up there hey a little help over here I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. I 
feel like I'd rather give Fliss a lift. I feel like she would know more about, like, I'll pull you up. ship. Oh, I guess we're all going up. Never mind. Let's take a look up here. Anything good over here? Probably not, but you know, it doesn't hurt to check it out. Of course not. give a shit about talking to her. Let's just open this door. Over here. Got a way through here. Uh, there we go. want to go out inside. I mean, I guess I have to, but like, this place is fucking awful. I don't know why it... I, I would rather be outside on like the, the main deck. Okay, captain's log. Look, last log shows him caught in a storm. Swell from the wet waves, 20 feet, no damage reported. PM weather continues to deteriorate as does forecast crew brewing up, AM wind at storm force, gaining strength, weather is exceptional, with several lightning strikes hitting OM, but causing no sustained damage, we are leaking some water, but it is under control, navigator, port, seabed, depth, readable. Airing updated. I just found a logbook with the name Aurang, and then a word beginning with M. Uh, no, 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 no. Secrets found. Update. The name of the ship is the Aurang Madan. Madan. Oh, so we know the name of the fucking ship now. No, no, no. We're going to look at this. The Aurang Madan. Um, yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's pretty bad here. Okay, that's it, that's it. We don't really actually care. Yeah, looking at items in this game definitely fucking sucks. I, like, did not think that part fully, through fully, but... Oh, God, there's a lot of places I could go. Oh, the places you'll go. Oh, shit. Hello? Oh. Who is that? Who's Cannon? Oh, shit. He may end up murdering himself. Find a radio yet? No, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? The planned route, yeah, that's to go to San Francisco. Why down, up, down, but then the actual route is them going down. Wait, where's Mint... Oh, man. Manchuria?
So Manchuria is like upper China. It's like really high up. So they were gonna go to San Francisco, but they instead decided not to. They wanted to go down there. It's a hideout in South America? I, I just don't know. Map showing the origin and destination of the ship. It was sailing from the Republic of China to San Francisco. Ooh. I hear the radio. But this is more important right now. Uh, ship was blown off course. Cloud cover was bad. Navigator's notebook. Navigator describing events during the ship's storm or blown the ship off course. Oh, that's why they went off. That's why they had a different destination. They couldn't establish a position. The wind fuck. They were still planning on going to San Francisco. It's just the wind completely fucked them up. It wasn't like they had a different plan. Adrift in shallow waters, location unknown. Search for crew members overboard commence. Search called off. Search called off after eight minutes. Wow. Heavy cloud cover as yet unable to establish location. Okay. That sucks. If you didn't get to an eight minutes, you were fucking done. They were like, alright, we're done. All done. All fucking done. Alright, let's go into this radio room. I mean, it sounds like it's working. Which is very fucking suspicious. Take a look. How is this working? How is this working? No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as there's power. I'll but give it a what's world. powering it? It's literally like been a ship that's been adrift for like forever. Ah, it's working. Okay. It's a number station. I don't know what that means. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? The group discovered a radio and made contact with the military station. Over. Holy shit! We got him! Uh. Let's tell them our coordinates first. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. Oh god, he can't hear us. We're on a freighter, abandoned, huge and old. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out they there? They gave their coordinates. Please, come in! Uh oh, maybe it wasn't actually good to give them the coordinates. Look at this! Uh-oh. <laughs> I feel like I keep on making the wrong decisions here. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this, trust me. I'm still the captain of something, and the captain's <laughs> telling you that I'm going to. All right, you and me, Fliss. All right, they went, Alex and Fliss went down in the radio hole. <sighs> Shit, this is probably isn't gonna be good, but we'll see what happens.